So, Godox sent me this bag that has two lights and they are both the 8300s and I think that Lex is hating. And I think that these are going to be my new favorite lights to be very honest. So this comes up, I don't, I don't know what, but I think this is a small octa. Just want to be fast because just want to shoot with this. Anyways, I'll let you guys see or uh, show you guys my light setup today. Just wanted to quickly bring this out because I haven't actually like showed you guys this. So I'm going to be shooting with two 8300s and I'll probably add one 8100 as um, the third light or maybe an 8200, depends, but we'll see. So, chop chop, let's get into today's shoot. <laughs> yeah, stands actually <laughs> Collect, never say anything. That bad look, that's the Right now, what I want to do is, or not what I want to do, what I've been doing is I have been shooting with the 8300 Pro and um, the Godox ADS60S small octa box. And the reason why I actually like this small octa box is that on your model's face, you can see like nice little small cat lights on your model's face, and, and, and that looks really good. By the way, look at our model, Edna, say hi. Hi. How many times have you been on my YouTube? Yes, so this is Edna from Beth Models, so you guys should definitely check her out if you have any gigs here in Nigeria. She's amazing, I love showing her. So now, this light is about three feet away from my subject. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because it's really small and I still want the light to be a little bit soft, you know, but at the same time, it's a very small light source, so the shadows are really pronounced. So the first set of pictures I took, you can see a lot of shadows and you get this like really dramatic look. But just to ease those shadows out, I am going to use a reflector and just take a few more pictures. And what that's going to do is just clean out some of those shadows. That is my simple and easy to do beauty light setup for headshots. Also, I am shooting with the um, Canon EOS R5 and the uh, Canon 100mm macro lens. This is my go-to lens, um, lens for headshots. And also, obviously, the Godox system, because that's why I use um, the X-Pro trigger for Canon. And that's about it. This is a very simple light setup. So from this, what we're going to do is move on to a two-light setup. What I want to do right now is introduce a second light under my model and what that's going to do is fill up her face a lot more and a lot better than a reflector and it's just going to make the shadows um, a little bit lighter and it's going to make the lighting on the face a lot more even and that's something that you can use when you're just going for a really nice skincare look or uh, I'd say, I wouldn't say high key but you just don't want to introduce a lot of shadows into your image so that's one setup. So we're going to bring this light now and then switch to the second light setup and from there we're going to move to the third light setup. But I just want to take a few more pictures with this and have Edna strike some really nice poses for us. Great. So now, leave the reflector. I don't know why I like the reflector this much. <laughs> um, okay, so just turn a little bit to the side. Beautiful, that looks gorgeous. That looks great. So maybe close your eyes. Maybe just close your eyes and look away. Let's try that. So we can see you. Beautiful. I love that. Oh. 
Okay, so right now I'm shooting at f5.0, 1, 200 of a second, and ISO 100. And my light is at 116 or 1 over 16 power, which is pretty decent for something this small. Absolutely love it. I think this is going to be my favorite new, my favorite new light. Another reason why it's actually good to bring in the reflector in this case is just because of the extra catch light that it gives in the eye. Because the reflector is bigger, the it just gives, I would say, bigger catch light than a light that's this small. This is really small, so you barely see the catch light. But if I wanted more of that, then I'll use something this big. This is the Godox QRP70. By the way, if you are watching this with all the Godox stuff, you might think that Godox is sponsoring this video, but actually they are not. This video is sponsored by me. So definitely check out my retouching essentials pack, my skin tone lots. I'll put a link in the description below to help you retouch better and retouch faster. And also check out my beauty retouching masterclass to learn how to retouch. But yeah, but I absolutely love Godox, love their lights. They are affordable and they do great. So if you are trying to get new lights, then definitely check out Godox lights. Love them. So this one for our second light setup, I think we're just gonna have this here. Now, the crazy thing is that I've actually never used this light setup before where I'm using two lights. Typically, I use a reflector because I love how the shadows look. But recently, I saw a video from, what's his name? Oh my God. It's not Miguel Quiles. It's not Miguel Quiles. It's a sunny guy. Manny Ortiz, yes. And he was using two lights and I absolutely love how it looks. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to try it out. So if you guys want to check out that video, go check out Manny Ortiz's page. So this is just going to be here like this, and this is going to be our second light, and we'll see how that looks. So let's get to it. So now let me walk you through our second light setup. And now we've introduced this, we've introduced this other light. So both of them are the 8300 Pros, and I have this in a Godox QRP70. So I think this is a quick release or something like that. Now, the, the reason why I like this particular octa box is because you don't have to put in the rods manually. There's a way you just snap them into place and it's nice. Um, this comes with like this um, ADS60S comes with like an umbrella like mechanism that yeah, but I really prefer this one. This one looks really good. Okay, great. So now what this second light is doing here is that it's adding a lot more. Well, first things first, it's removing a lot of the shadows from her face. And then it's adding a lot of, I'll say shine to her skin. So she looks great. Absolutely love this setup. But what I want to do right now to complete this light setup is add another light right here. I'll call it like a hair light or a kicker right here and that's just going to complete this look and it's going to look amazing so let's add that light guys let me walk you through our three light setup now so we have our key light right here which is the 8300 pro and that is our one over 16 then we have our fill light down here which is the 8300 pro but in a godox um parabolic octa box and that's one over 64 and then we have our um, rim light or hair light over here. So this is just to separate our subject from the background and this is 1 over 128. So these are three light setup. If you actually enjoy this, um, try it out. If you like this, um, you have this much lights at home, then definitely try it out. If you're looking at getting new lights, then definitely try out the Godox because I absolutely love them. Um, they just work seamlessly, obviously. I'm not the first person that is saying this. Go check out any review about Godox lights. But they worked for me. This is my first time using them first time ever, they just work seamlessly. So definitely try it out. Check out our makeup artist, Cast Concept. Check out our model, Edna. Check out the man behind the camera, Dami. I'll definitely put his handle, Instagram handle in the description. And yeah, that's about it. This is our setup and these are the pictures. Follow me on Instagram to see more edited images. Thank you so much for watching today's YouTube video and I'll see you guys some other time. Peace out guys, tell them bye-bye. Tell them subscribe. Subscribe, like, and um, if you like the video, share it. If they like the video. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.